A child was hospitalized Wednesday after using a vape laced with THC. The incident happened at the Berrien Middle School. Just last week, Georgia lawmakers passed a, well, this week, Georgia lawmakers passed a bill that would regulate vaping the same way that the state already regulates smoking. Georgia's 2005 Smoke Free Act prohibits smoking inside most public areas and it outlines specific guidelines for allowing smoking in and around establishments that serve the public. A person who violates that law commits a misdemeanor can be fined $100 to $500. Now back to Berrien County, that child has since been discharged from the hospital. And WLB News 10's Anthony Bordenero spoke with teachers today. They say the students vaping has gotten out of hand. The minimum age to buy and smoke vape products in Georgia is 21. Still, many young kids are getting their hands on vape devices. Melissa Odelius is a teacher in Colquitt County. She says students try to flush their vapes down the toilet to hide them from teachers. Yeah, they throw them out in the toilets and they stop them up every single day. Odelius is also a parent. She's been using vapes to quit her smoking addiction. Odelius says stopping children from vaping is a tough battle to fight. She knows the dangers of it. She knows what it can cause. And, but she's also, I know she's seen me vape a lot. Knowing the dangers will help her not want to do it, I hope. <laughs> it's very tough to get children uh, not to try things, especially when they see other peers doing it. Loud Kitchen says that peer pressure does happen, but she believes parents are responsible for educating and monitoring their children. We really have to do a better job uh, educating and mentoring our young people. I spoke with a vape store owner off camera. They tell me it gets frustrating being in the business. They believe vape shops get a bad rap in the media because they're often blamed for selling to minors. So I looked into the FDA's tobacco compliance database. In 2022 in Georgia, there were 2,500 inspection reports. 17 were violations of stores selling to minors. Three of those 17 cases were of vape shops selling a vape product to a minor. Burien County Sheriff's Office tells me that this is an ongoing issue at the middle and high schools in the county. I submitted an open records request to learn more about past instances within the school system. Sheriff Ray Pock of Burien County tells me the case of the middle school being hospitalized is still being investigated and that they could pursue charges against whoever provided the child with a drug-laced vape. Anthony Bordenaro, WALB, your hometown news source.